Eurobike 2018. I'm here with Ulyss from Met Helmets. He's going to tell us a bit more about their range. Hi everyone. So basically, quickly, we would like to introduce you our wide range. And uh, as you can see, you, we have quite a lot of helmets. And uh, the point today is a bit to explain why we have a wide range. We'll start by showing you our affordable solution, which is a Met Trally, which is an helmet retailing at uh, 80 euros. It's a really affordable helmet for people who want to go and have a first look into aerodynamic shapes and keeping a good ventilation. So it's a really versatile lid in case you're using it the weekend. So we are really talking to people having maybe 1,500 euros bike, looking for something really nice to start, to do road biking seriously without breaking the bank. So the idea is really providing a good performance in terms of aerodynamics, good ventilation in a budget, which can fit to everyone. Next one, we have one of our best sellers, which is a uh, Met Rivale. The uh, particularity of this helmet, it's really comfy and we have a lot of ventilation. It's really perfect if you are climbing, if you want still to have some nice feature like Nakavant, direct issue from uh, automotive industry. So really well, well ventilated, really light, uh, with a really good fit. So this is really perfect if you are riding more than once a week, let's say twice, wanted to have a serious performance. Uh, without being too aggressive in terms of looks, it could fit to everyone. So, so it's kind of a, a mid-range helmet? It's a mid-range helmet, we have uh, 120 euros and uh, it's really our do-it-all helmet, perfect for every type of practice. And we've also obviously got an aero lid. Obviously, obviously. Uh, we, it's really important for us to have a narrow helmet in the range, especially because it fits to sprinters really well and it's really made on that purpose. But if the Trenta is really performing well in the pack, the Manta is made for sprinters. So when you have really position, an aggressive position on the bike, you can see by its slick design, its knack events, it's really performing way better than other helmets of uh, its category. We are quite pleased to have uh, one of the lightest helmets uh, of this kind on the market because this just weighs 200 grams. To close a bit the topic about our open face uh, helmet forward, the idea is each time providing a perfect comfort, achieving by a 360 all wounded belt for every model of the range. So this is something we are really pushing because we know for head shapes could be influenced by the type of retention system you have. So with this 360 belt, we allow people to have the maximum comfort and also by allowing the possibility of each time plug a light at the back which is a simple one for the entry-level model and a more evolved one with five different blinking modes for the top of the range. So we are talking also addressing the theme of safety by the safety of the helmet itself, certified obviously, the added feature we can plug and the new technology we are bringing on the market since last year, which is the 3K carbon cage. Very nice. And then finally, we've got the top range yeah. Trenta. So one in carbon fiber and one a bit more simple with polycarbonate. So the carbon fiber version is a real proper carbon shell uh, inside, underneath the helmet, embedded inside the shell. So this allows us to lower down the weight. This weight just 215 grams, having the same resistance and uh, added strength and also nice look of the helmet. An added value if you want a craftsmanship product. So this declination retains the same characteristics, so really well ventilated, a narrow shape made to perform in the pack. So really maximum watt saving is gained when you are inside the, the pack. Rear deflector to avoid any turbulences. So it's a really well-made helmet in terms of ventilation providing an advantage, in terms of aerodynamic providing also an advantage for a specific use when you are in the pack works at its best. You guys used to have one time trial helmet, but now you've yeah. got two. Yeah. Tell me a bit more about that. Big news of the old bike. Uh, it's an helmet still under development, but I can give you some uh, sneak peek of it and explain you a bit why we will have two helmets 
uh, of this kind, not just one, and why we really feel the need to develop a new solution. So basically, last year and uh, the previous year, we had the fastest helmet in the market, which is the Dwan wide body, which is a killer uh, when we are talking about straight line performance because of its wide body shell, allowing the air flow pass through up the, the shoulder, which is one of our main characteristics. When you are using this lid, you really need to have the perfect position. Uh, and somehow, it doesn't fit to modern time trial, where you are moving more on the bike, you need to move your head, you have more possibility to catch crosswinds because of switchbacks and everything, which obviously with a long tail, it's hard, uh, it's downgraded the performance. So to address this, we come up with a solution. We call that Ronca, in Italian says short tail. The idea is when we are working on this, the maximum aerodynamic performance is achieved not by the helmet alone, but by a system composed by bike, athlete, so position, and helmet. So that's really important because sometimes uh, we are taking a lead, we put it on, on a wind tunnel and we say, yeah, it's performing, but you can't do that with a nerd form. You have to have the athlete. So we are testing it and developing it with uh, Filippo Ganna, the world champion. So we come up with short tail solution allowing you to move more the head without damaging the aero performance. Better field of vision, so you can see without moving your head, which is really important. And also, it's a lead which could really fit well when we are speaking about triathlon, because we have a feedlock buckle. So when we are talking about transition, you need to switch from swim to bike, bike to run. You can easily unlock lock. And the short tail allows you to Keep your head focused on the power meter because you have the position like this. With a long tail, the tail goes up. So obviously, that's not a good sign. So it fits to a wider audience. Obviously, the performance is straight line. It's slightly lower than the wide body, but it could fit to many more type of shoes. So that's why we are keeping really both solution. So if you want a more versatile helmet, you love staring at your power meter, watching those watts, then the new Met helmet could be for you.